first one we're going to do is from we've like I've snapped him down or I've just ended up where he's kind of on all fours and I'm on top of him here like a front head position okay now one thing we've been playing around with was some of like the Peruvian necktie stuff we do from here with passes over step over fall back things like that okay um, those work really well okay but this is some other stuff you can do here uh, the first one is so if you like playing with lapels, any chance you get to pull your lapel out, just have it out, right? Even if I don't use it right now, it's just out if I need it, okay? So I've got control of him here, and anytime I'm trying to control him, I'm putting my weight down in his shoulder blades here. There, okay? I'm pinning down in the shoulder blades. Now I'm gonna take this lapel, pass it right under there, okay? I'm handing it to this hand. I'm this is going under, I'm reaching under his head right here and grab it, okay? So this is going here, I grab it with my other hand here, okay? And there we go. Now, what I want to do is, and this one is with the arm in, so it's not as good as the next one we're going to do, but I like this one too. I'm just going to grab my own material here, okay? When I do this, I'm controlling him just like this. It's going to be hard for him to go anywhere on this, all right? Once I, I've got him controlled, it doesn't feel like he can move. I'm going to reach down and grab my lapel, okay? So I'm like this. I'm reaching down and grabbing just like a baseball bat, okay? This is like a baseball choke from the front, okay? I went under here. I'm controlling with the lapel. This hand's coming under and grabbing my own lapel like this. So right now, both my wrists are making contact with Clay's neck. Okay, and that's a good recipe for a choke. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to circle clockwise to my left here. See that? I'm on each side of his neck. Okay, the more I circle around, the worse this gets. Okay, if he falls over, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show both because these are very similar, and then I'll show the uh, the other one we're going to do later. Okay. So, this one's just like that one, minus the arm. I'm here, I've got it pinned, controlled. I take this lapel. If you can make your lapel skinny, like this, it works better. I'm gonna pass it under, here, okay? From here, I've already, I don't have to re-control it. I've already got this. I can keep this overhand grip here and do it, but I like to get that baseball grip here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out here. Pass it under, right around his neck. Now I'm going to I'm going to loosen this up for Clay's sake, okay? I'm going to come around. Now for this one, I've got a little more movement here because I don't have his arm in. I'm going to come all the way around behind him here. Okay? I want to call it the assassin joke. Okay, take like you on their back. On their back. Right there, okay? Pretty cool. If you do this to someone, I'm going to give you some major cool points. You want to see that again? One more time. <laughs> We're rolling tonight. Now, all I've got to do is circle this way. I can put my leg behind his head here, and I just elbow down, and I'm pulling here. And that's super tight. The best thing he can do is try to like circle back out of it this way, which is fine. But now I, now I can actually step over here and hit <coughs> some of these even worse oh, areas. Just a mess for him. Okay. You're just getting. All right, I got it. All right, one, two, three. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make sure I have this lapel out. You know, always have your lapels out if you like playing with. Okay, I'm going to just take this and bring it across just like that. I'm going to feed it to this hand and pull it across his neck. He doesn't see this going on right now. He's fighting this. He's going to be happy to get this loose. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up to this hand here and then let him pull my arm down. Bring this across here. Okay, now I just hide my elbow. This elbow here, both elbows, I hide them behind his back here. Okay, now when you do this, the more you can turn this one behind his back here, the worse it's going to be. Okay, I can also take this hand, run it in behind his lapel here, pass it off, and I mean, you just straight up strangle him there. Okay, <laughs> you got a lot of options there. I love it because you have control. Everything about the lapel is about having control of your opponent. 
Okay, so these are tools and we need to use them. Okay, whether it's to stop someone from passing your guard, whether it's to choke someone or sweep someone, the lapels are a great tool. Okay, so never forget that. If you see someone's gi out, use it to choke them. If your gi's out, use it to choke them. Okay, choke them. Okay, just play around with that. Don't strangle each other too hard. You know, this is just kind of learning the technique, and then we're going to do some more drilling here in a minute. So, uh, anyone want to sit again? I just like mean mugs up. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. One, two, three.